It's a paediatric bronchoscopy set at Watford. It consists of four various sizes of bronchoscopes, um, a light lead on the top tray and three different sizes of suction cannulas. On the bottom tray we've got a telescope and we've got two optical forceps uh, and, a, and a biopsy forceps and a suction. Uh, also on the top tray you'll find all these connectors and now we're going to show you how to add the connectors um, to the scope. You've got the Fluvoc sliding glass connector here that goes onto the biopsy channel, to the working channel. This channel is the light channel where you have a little light prism that you put in like this and that connects the light lead. This is the connection that goes to the ventilator. For that, if you want to plug it for, an, for a minute, you've got the black plug uh, for that. The other connect, so this works, so you can work through the channel and you can slide, the slide it so you have glass for when you insufflate, uh, when you ventilate the, the child. Um, this connection here comes with a rubber bung so you can work through it. Um, the, and the other connectors, they work like this. This is just a single one where you put a rubber bong on and you'll be able to put your biopsy forceps through that. Um, then you have got other, other connections. This is an injection connection, uh, connection that goes on the suction channel. You just sort of push them in and then you can put your catheters, your suction catheters through here like that and you've got at the bottom here you've got a long telescope and it's longer than average you can either use it directly or you can use it through uh, the biopsy forceps using it through the biopsy forceps you can you can either use it this probably they will use this most commonly and they will have this so you can Put your biopsy forceps through here and you can then work down at the end if you're catching if you're trying to catch a foreign body in the child's um, bronchus. Right, so that's the suction and that there are other connections that you can put on. You can use a shorter connection, again, this is for the suction channel, the two zero lines up. There's a zero there and there's a zero here. And there's like a little knob there that you just line them up and push, push them well. And you've got a little um, connector here if, there's, if uh, the surgeon prefers to use it like that. You have also got a bridge that just fits on. It just slides on like that. And through that, you can put the scope directly, so the surgeon can get a good view initially. You can see the scope is just at the end there, and the light lead will be attached there. Any suction would be put, put through the hole, through either of the connections there. Um, so that's basically how it works and this one is like a, a multi-purpose connector that both give you glass for when they're breathing and an open, um, a couple of open options for when they want to put the tools down. And that's it. You've also got, just for this, a, a rigid suction that's got a flexible end. Now you need to make sure that the rubber is of good enough quality so it doesn't break off because it's old and, and stay behind. Make sure you bring it out again that it has got that on the end and that's basically how to use the pediatric bronchoscope thank you